the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A morning offering by St. Therese of the Child Jesus. O my God, I offer thee all my actions of this day for the intentions and for the glory of the most sacred heart of Jesus. I desire to sanctify every beat of my heart, my every thought, my simple works, and by uniting them to his infinite merits, and I wish to make reparation for my sins by casting them into the furnace of its merciful love. O my God, I ask of thee for myself and for those whom I hold dear, the grace to fulfill perfectly thy holy will, to accept for love of thee the joys and sorrows of this passing life, so that we may one day be united together in heaven for all eternity. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, good morning to everybody. Welcome po sa ating daily, uh, daily uh, conferences on the prayer of the presence of God. At, uh, well, bago ang lahat, uh, yung ating daily conferences ay uploaded lagi sa ating YouTube channel, Sense of the Sacred. Don't forget to subscribe and to click the notification bell. Uh, paminsan-minsan po, uh, pumapalya din kami ha, sorry. Uh, for example, yung akala namin na upload na sa YouTube, pero hindi pa pala na-upload. Okay? Kaya minsan, uh, buong maghapon, hindi lumalabas yung video sa YouTube channel. Okay? Pero, dun sa dun sa FB live okay sa FB uh, channel uh, sa FB page ng Most Holy Redeemer uh, regular po 'yon. Nagkakaroon lang kami ng difficulties the past days kasi parang uh, uh, napuputol daw sa bandang huli. But thank you always. Thank you, thank you, thank you for reminding us or for uh, uh, for uh, uh, getting our attention to yung mga napuputol, yung mga hindi lumalabas, na mga uploads namin. Uh, I do hope huwag kayo magsawa, pero wag din kayo, mag, uh, wag din kayo uh, magsawa din na magpaalala sa amin, Father, naputol. Father, uh, hindi lumabas yung video. Uh, it's, good, it's good to receive uh, feedbacks from you. Okay? Okay? So, ngayon po ang first Friday of uh, the month of August. At uh, well, it is the day of reparation to the sacred heart of Jesus. Uh, bago, bagong conference, I'd like to make a comment. No? Kasi parang habang tumatagal talaga ay uh, parang lumalala, nang lumalala ang pandemic. No? Hindi lamang sa bansa, kundi actually sa buong mundo, no? Uh, ang Europe nga are bracing themselves for a second wave. Okay? Nag, Nag-close down na naman, nag, nag, nagla-lockdown na naman yung ibang mga countries sa Europe kasi nga parang lumilitaw that uh, uh, nagkakaroon ng second wave daw ng, uh, ng pandemic. At uh, well, I'd like to make a comment on that. No? Uh, kasi parang nakita natin yung nagprayer si Holy Father okay sa and then uh, nag nagpray tayo kasama niya and he prayed for healing of the sick and you know, deliverance from the pandemic and all and then uh, kahit sa Pilipinas dito no uh, mayat maya mayro mga healing rosary healing rosary okay uh, pero bakit parang parang it is not being addressed hindi pa hindi na sa solve ang issue ng virus. Well, I, I, I really think that what is really lacking with, our, with, with the spiritual things that we do is actually reparation. Paulit-ulit ko sasabi yan, reparation. So far, ang hilig natin begging for deliverance, begging, begging for uh, healing, but we do not make reparation. I've always said this kahit nung series natin ng Sacred Heart of Jesus, I've always been telling you that at the very root 
of every pandemic, of everything that causes death, at the root of it all is always sin. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. Sa Bible yon, the wages of sin is death. Therefore, everything that leads to death, okay, at the very root of it all is sin. And therefore, we cannot just ask for healing. We cannot just ask for divine favors. We have to beg for forgiveness and we have to make reparation for our sins. Okay? Make reparation for our sins. Kaya po, sana po itong, uh, itong uh, today, good, uh, first Friday of the month, let us make reparation for our sins. Okay? Make reparation for our sins. Sana nga, hindi lang yung, sana hindi lang healing rosary yung kumalat. Sana, makapag-organize tayo ng reparation rosaries. Why, why not? That's an idea, di ba? Ipakalat natin yun, no? the, the need to make reparation rosaries. To pray the rosary in reparation to the sacred heart of Jesus and in reparation to the immaculate heart of Mary. Okay? Uh, to, to all, we should not stop praying the rosary for healing, but please, we are not addressing the problem by simply asking for a blessing of healing. Okay? Let us try to go to the very root of the pandemic. And as I said, if the wages of sin is death, therefore, uh, everything, anything that leads to death is part of the wages of sin. Therefore, let us make reparation so that we may not merit the wages of sin. Okay? Tayo magbayad puri para hindi natin, para hindi natin ma, ma, makamit yung kabayaran ng ating kasalanan. Okay? So, uh, ngayon ay, uh, ngayon ay, Uh, ang ikatatlumput uh, ang ikatatlumput limang conference natin on the prayer of the presence of God and the title of our conference today is Remember that God acts for your good. Okay? Now, uh, magandang simulan to by pointing out that there is a fault in the way we think today. In, in what way, Father? We make too many distinctions. Alimbawa, justice and mercy. Okay? Yung katarungan at yung awa. For many people, we make them distinct realities na kung saan they are they, they are they are, ano, they are, uh, they are exclusive of one another which means pag hindi ka makata pag uh, pag ikaw ay maawain walang katarungan pag ikay makatarungan walang awa okay so iniisip natin magkaiba magkasalungat ang katarungan at ang awa but i think i've always told you that um Justice and mercy are two distinct ideas that meet in one and the same reality. And what is that? The reality of love. Okay. So, in the spectrum of love, the minimum is always justice and the maximum is always mercy. So, in the spectrum of love, justice and mercy are at both ends. And both ends are expressions of love. Okay? Kaya nga, uh, hin- hindi, hin- you cannot become, you cannot love if you are not just. Okay? You cannot love if you are not just. It can't be mercy, mercy, mercy without justice. Okay? Kasi 
how can you go to the highest floor of the building if you do not pass through the first floor? The minimum of the spectrum of love is always justice. The maximum of the spectrum of love is mercy. Okay? So, uh, in, we, we've always, uh, we have always uh, spoken of this, that in God's presence, we act as a child. Okay? We act as a child used to do in days gone by in the presence of his father. Okay? Kahapon, di ba, our, our conference was speak to God as a child to his father. Now, for us to understand our relationship with the father, let us look at fatherhood in times past. Okay? Fatherhood in times past. Why do I want to talk about fatherhood in times past? Sorry, I'm old school, ha? Pero, sa aking palagay kasi, noon, fatherhood is really fatherhood. Okay? Hindi tulad ngayon, eh. Parang, ang labo. Ang labo ng concept ng fatherhood ngayon, no? because of the changing paradigms of the family. Natatandaan ko, merong, merong series sa noon sa uh, sikat na sikat to sa cable TV, modern family. Eh, yung modern family, ang gulo. Hindi mo alam kung sino ba ang tatay, kung sino ba ang nanay. There, 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 there is you know, a, a, a same-sex couple. Okay. Magulo, magulo. And you do not know who, who calls the shots. No? But in times past, the fatherhood, fatherhood is very, very clear. The concept of fatherhood is very clear. Why? Kasi in times past, the father was in every sense the head of the family. Okay? In noon, ang mga ama, ang tunay, na ulo ng pamilya. And he exercised his rights as such. And so, his love, so the, the love of God is the same as a father's love and perhaps more so. But uh, God knows that uh, to love means wanting what is good for one's child and not just what is pleasant. That's, an, that's important. Na ang ama, ang pagmamahal ng ama ay kumikilala na ay, 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 ang, ang pagmamahal ng ama ay naghahangad ng ikabubuti ng kanyang anak at hindi lamang yung ikaliligaya ng anak. Important yun eh. Important yun. Bakit? Kasi today we live in a time when there are so many spoiled brats. Okay? So many spoiled brats. Why? Because modern parents tend to lavish their children with what they want. Okay. They tend to spoil their children by lavishing on them only what is pleasant. I father, hindi ako ganun. Oh, are you sure? I'll, I'll give a statement. Tell me if you actually said it yourself. Okay? Statement. Hindi ko ipapadanas sa aking mga anak ang paghihirap na pinagdaanan ko noon. Oh, aminin. Sinabi mo yun, ano? Okay? Hindi ko ipaparanas sa aking anak ang mga paghihirap na pinagdaanan ko noon. 
There you go. Okay? There you go. Kaya mahinang nilala yung mga anak nyo eh. Bakit? Kasi hindi nyo pinukpok. You kept giving only what is pleasant. But in fact, you should have been giving what is good for them. Okay? Do not just give what is pleasant. Give your children what is good for them. And in order to obtain this good, which is the sole, uh, which is the sole aim of the father, the father knew how to command. Okay? Para, para mabigay niya yung makabubuti, okay? para maibigay niya yung ikabubuti ng anak, marunong magutos ang ama. He knows how to impose his will. He knows how to check caprices. No? Binabantayan niya at pinupungos niya mga kapritsyo. Okay? He knows how to direct and discipline energies. He knows how to prune the false shoots. Hindi na natin naririnig yan eh. Nip it at the bud. Pag nakikita mong, oy, teka muna, masama patutunguhan yan. Habang maaga, putulin mo na. Okay, habang maaga, putulin mo na. Okay? Huwag bigay layaw lagi. Huwag bigay layaw. Alam mo kung anong mabuti at anong masama. Learn to nip, to prune the buds, to prune false shoots. In a word, the father knew how to make a man of his son. Alam ng ama kung paano gagawing palalaking lalaki ang kanyang anak. Oy, don't, don't give me LBG, LGBT issues here, ha? Okay? Yun yung, yun yung problema natin ngayon, eh. No? Masyadong malambot. Masyadong malambot. Child rearing has become sugar-coated. Too much sugar-coated. To the point na, if I may use yung lagi kong naririnig sa mga kabataan ngayon, lumalaki ang mga bata na mahihinang nila lang. Mahihinang nila lang. Meron akong, meron akong, ano di, meron akong isang kaibigan na nagpapa, ang tawag ito? He raises uh, uh, fighting fowls. Nang sabihin, uh, nagpapa, nag, nagpaparami siya ng mga sinasabong na manok. Minsan umuulan, umuulan. Nakita ko yung manok nakatali tapos nandun lang siya sa ilalang puno pero definitely nauulan na yung manok so sabi ko sa kanya uy, hindi ko naawa doon sa manok nakatali, hindi siya makatakbo hindi siya makasilong, nandun lang siya alam mo sagot niya sa akin ay father, kailangan niya yon para maging malakas siya ba? kailangan niya yon para maging malakas siya. And yun yun eh. Okay? Kaya mahinang nila lang ang mga bata kasi uh, I'm, I'm easily offended. You hurt my feelings. Okay? Kasi ang magulang kept on giving what is pleasant without regarding what is good. 
Huwag mong ibibigay lamang yung kaaya-aya. Learn to discipline. Learn to command. Okay? Learn to command. So, if firmness was necessary, the father was firm. If punishment was called for, he punished. He warned, scolded, and commanded according to the needs of the moment since his son was, as it were, a prolongation of himself. Bakit ayaw ng ama na lumaking sutil ang kanyang anak? Sagot, kasi nakikita niya ang kanyang anak ay extension ng kanyang sarili. The son is the prolongation of himself. And the son will continue to be what he wa- the way he was raised up for a long time. So he truly represents, the father represents the creator as far as his child was concerned. And like the creator, the father, yung tatay, combines justice with love. So, pag tinatama niya ang kanyang anak, okay, nagpapakita siya ng pagmamahal. Nasa Bible yon, di ba? Ang sabi nga ng Bible, di ba? Sinong ama ang hindi papalo ng kanyang anak? Sinong, sinong ama ang hindi papalo ng kanyang anak? So, tinatama niya yung anak niyang iniibig at nagtatama siya dahil nagmamahal siya. Kung hindi ka tinatama ng magulang mo, questionin mo talaga kung mahal ka talaga. Kung hindi ka sinisita, kung anong oras ka umuwi. Okay? Kung hindi ka sinisita, dahil nakikita niyang hindi ka nag-aaral, well, sabihin nun, hindi ka mahal ng magulang mo. Di ba nga, di ba ang hilig-hilig natin kumain ng alimango, di ba? Ano ginagawa mo sa sipit? Di ba? Pinapalo mo yung sipit. Bakit? Ano ginawa nung alimang mo sa'yo? Pinapalo mo yung sipit. Simple lang. Kaya mo pinapalo yung sipit, hindi dahil sa galit ka doon sa alimang mo. Pinapalo mo yung sipit para lumabas doon yung kanyang crab meat. Para lumabas doon yung kanyang malinamnam na laman. Okay? So, kapag uh, uh, ang ama, tinatama niya yung anak na minamahal niya. At kaya siya nagtatama ay sapagkat nagmamahal siya. At naiintindan ito ng kanyang anak. At tumutugon siya sa tunay na pagmamahal sa pamagitan ng paggalang sa kanyang ama with profound tenderness. Okay? So, the more the child received of that communication of life, the more he began to resemble his father and become a true son. Okay? So, habang lumalaki ang bata, dinindisiplina ng ama, He becomes like his father. And the more a friendship and intimacy springs up between father and son. Okay. The, the, more, the more intimacy and friendship springs up between father and son. So the son receives more confidence and was encouraged to uh, render little services. And so, little by little, he was initiated by 
concrete examples and acts rather than words to fulfill his future role as a father and head. Bakit kailangan mong disiplinahin ang anak mo? Kasi balang araw, yung anak mo ay magiging ama rin. Balang araw, yung anak mo ay magkakaroon din ng anak. Kaya nga nais mo na uh, uh, gayahin niya ang iyong pagpapalaki. At kung totoo nga ang nagpapalaki ka ng anak, huwag lamang yung uh, masarap ang ibigay mo. Learn to discipline. Learn to discipline. So, uh, uh, when you do that, you assure in, the, in your son the continuity of the family. And so, God acts in much the same way in our regard. Kung paanong kumikilos ang ating tatay, ganun din kumikilos ang Diyos. Nais niya na tayo ay malikha na kamukha niya. Kaya nga, the father acts with all a father's love. He employs for this purpose all sorts of means. Ginagamit niya ang lahat ng magagamit upang ikaw at ako ay palakihin ng tama. At isa sa mga ginagamit niya ay ang katarungan. Kailangang aminin ng anak ang kanyang pagkakamali. Kailangang matuto siyang maging malungkot sa kanyang pagkakasala. At kailangang sa pamagitan nito ay umunlad siya sa pagmamahal. To understand that love and the need to communicate life demand and call for reproof. Under that discipline, he grows up and gradually takes a greater part in the life of his fatherhood. He acts more like his father, yet remains more truly a son, more one of the family. Kahit na sa amin, sa amin, pari na ako, pari na ako. But in our house, my dad will always be the father. You call me father. Diba? You call me father. You acknowledge my spiritual fatherhood over you, right? But in my house, in the house of my dad, I am his son. And he is my father. Okay? And I will always respect him as my father. I will always respect him as my father. Okay? So, he acts more like his father and yet remains more truly a son, more one of the family. At the same time, the son is entrusted with the secrets, the care, and the hopes of family life and thus becomes the friend the companion, and the future father. When, I, when we were very young, kami maliliit pa, okay? May mga bagay na itinatago sa amin. Mga responsibilidad na inililihim sa amin. Pero habang lumalaki kami ng lumalaki, nagbibinata kami, unti-unti, kapag nag-uusap kami ng tatay ko, nasasabi niya sa akin yung mga problema, yung mga kailangang harapin ng pamilya. He, he reveals to me the secrets 
and therefore I grow up. And, you know, my dad is my dad, but, you know, in the end, we became friends, companions. And he prepared me to become a future father. A future father. The Holy Spirit shows him souls, sometimes near to him, sometimes far away. They may be only a few, or they may be, or they may be uh, uh, mankind in general. The Spirit reveals to him their needs, the ills from which they suffer, and the effort required to lead them back to their father's home. And so, his prayer becomes more Catholic and universal. His gaze, lit up by the divine light, embraces the whole world. All kinds of feelings fill his soul, and love is the center, with all the shades of which it is capable. He still sees God as someone very great and himself as nothing. But between that love and that nothing have been set in motion such relations that they speak the same language and present the same features. This prayer is true prayer and there is nothing higher. Okay. So in the end, remember yesterday, Feast of the Transfiguration, we were saying, the Holy Spirit reproduces in the one who prays the image of the Son, Jesus Christ. And the Father is delighted in what he sees. And the Father is delighted in his fatherhood over that soul that prays. But in the end, the, the one who prays, the soul who prays, learns to imitate the Father. He learns to imitate the Father. He gets the habits of the Father. Okay. The perfections of the Father are later on reflected in us. And what are those reflections of the uh, perfections of God in the soul? They are called virtues. So when, when we pray, when we pray, the more, the more we acquire, we improve in our virtues. And the closer we become our similitude with the Father. To the point that, yes, God is still all and I am nothing, but because of prayer, the Father and I, we begin to speak the same language. And I begin to carry on in my soul the perfections of God, and they are called virtues. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O Christ Jesus, I acknowledge the King of the universe. All that has been created has been made for thee. Exercise over me all thy sovereign rights. I renew the promises of my baptism. I renounce Satan and all his works and all his pomps. And I, uh, and I promise to live a good Christian life and to do all in my power to procure the triumph of the rights of God and thy church. Divine heart of Jesus, I offer thee my poor efforts, 
in order to obtain that all hearts may acknowledge thy sacred royalty, and that thus the kingdom of thy power may be established throughout the universe. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, hope of the hopeless, pray for us. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us in today's conference. Thank you, and see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and share.